What's up y'all, Wallamoose here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to create digital products to sell online. But before I do that, I post here on YouTube every week with content regarding digital entrepreneurship, so if you're interested in that, please subscribe, I'd love to have you along for the ride. But without further ado, let's jump in here and get started. Alrighty, so we're gonna be using Canva for this tutorial today, and if you don't have an account, you can find a link in the description below for a 30-day free trial for a pro account. They also have a free version if you wanna try that out as well. And for this tutorial, I'm going to create a digital planner, but you can use these tips that I'm gonna talk about for whatever niche or product you are selling for yourself. And by the end of this video, you should be able to create for yourself something similar to this. So there's a few things we need to do before actually getting into it and creating the product for yourself, and that is planning out exactly what you're gonna create. So what I would recommend is getting out a piece of paper or a spreadsheet and creating a list of possible products that you can create. And then within that, see what kind of pages and content will be within those products. Products. And then once you've narrowed down what product you're gonna create, I would just sketch out a simple illustration with boxes and lines where the content on the product is gonna go. So if you have a title, if you have subtext, if you have elements on the page, just sketch it out really roughly. And so once we get into Canva, you'll be ready to go. And once you have your sketch done, we can actually get to the fun part, which is creating your product. So we're gonna to go to the homepage of Canva and go up here to create a design. Like I said, I'm gonna do a planner, but feel free to do whatever size you want. I'm just gonna do the standard eight and a half by 11, which is just the average piece of paper size. So if you're new to this and you're a little bit overwhelmed, think about it this way. Each digital product is just a makeup of four different elements, lines, text, shapes, and icons. And you can make whatever design you want, just by rearranging those elements together, as you can see from this. So text, lines, shapes, and then icons in the background, simple as that. Now, once you have your blank file, there's a few things I would recommend doing before actually getting the elements in there. And that is setting up margin so each page is consistent with the other. So if we go up here to file, you can do show margins and show rulers and guides. So if you select both of those, you can see that there's a dashed line here in the middle, and I would recommend keeping all of your elements within that dashed line just so it's consistent. And this way, if someone prints it, you can make sure they are print friendly. Now let me show you some best practices for actually adding these elements in here. So if we go to elements, we can search those four things I talked about earlier, shapes, lines, etc. Let me just add a line here. So if you click on the element, it'll populate within your artboard and you can grab the handles on either side and make it a different size. You can go up here to the top left and change the line width. So I like to keep it probably two or three, just so it's not too thick. And then you can actually click, hold option and drag and duplicate it. So you can start the lines for people to write on. And what I would recommend is whenever you drag this, you can see a little ruler hover between the two elements. I would recommend making it 0.36 inches apart from each other. This is like in between college rule and wide ruled. Now, if you wanna add some variety, like I said, you can add shapes. So we're gonna do a square. Um, you can do the same thing by holding the handles as you did the line and reshape this. So if you wanna have a content block right here, you can do this, drag it right there. Uh, change the color using this. I like to make it a light color so they have an easy time writing on it. Or you can even make it a dark color and decrease the opacity if you wanna do that. And then if you wanna add text to it, all you need to do is go over to this text option on the left-hand side and you can add a heading up at the top of the page, change the font size, make it like 45 so it's not too big, right ju left justify and change the font size. So I hope you can kind of see how it's all coming together. It's just literally rearranging those four elements together to make it um, aesthetically pleasing and nice for people to look at. So take a look at the sketch you made earlier and start playing with these elements to see if you can duplicate that digitally. And I'm gonna finish this and fast forward it so you can see my process and kind of follow along. <laughs> Okay, not my best work, um, it was a little rushed, but as you can see, I just rearranged the shapes and text and lines in a nice way. And then once you create your product, all you're gonna do is go up here to share, download, and you can download as a PDF print or a PDF standard. And also if you wanna give an extra value to the buyer, what I would recommend is also giving them the template link. And so what this does, it gives them a link to this Canva document so they can actually go in and edit the colors, font, um, rearrange things if they want to. It just gives them more freedom and it gives more heft to the product that you're selling. 
And the best way I found to present these template links to the buyer is when you click on it, save this link. Um, please note, it will not edit the original document, so you can sell this as many times as you want, and people won't interfere with the original file. But save this link right here, and create a another file, if I pull it up real quick. This is just another Canva document I've created, eight and a half by 11. And what I've done here is I have created a little thank you for the customer uh, with a little informational video on how to use the products and the Canva template link right here. So just add some text in Canva, highlight it, and you can go up here to this hyperlink button and link the template. And then whenever you share as a PDF standard and you give that to them, they can actually open the PDF, click on the link and use that Canva template. So. It, it costs nothing for you to do that extra, but it makes it more enticing for people to buy. So I would always recommend adding the PDF of your product and the template link. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. This was just kind of a high level overview on how to create products. I've got other videos on my channel of how to do things more in depth. So check those out or just leave a comment below and I'll answer them for you. But that's it for this one. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.